Hey everybody, it is time for morning prayer and devotion. Thank you for praying with me again today, and we do have much to pray about. Uh, we received an update regarding uh, Heather's surgery. Uh, Venus reports in that the surgery went well yesterday. They believe they were able to get rid of all the cancer. This was a lengthy uh, six-hour surgery, and she's going to have to be in the hospital for a week. And then we'll have a long road of recovery after that. She has to go back in three months for one more surgery. So let's continue to pray for Heather and for all those who are uh, continuing to battle cancer. We need to pray for peace and comfort for Pastor Marty DeLotte's uh, family. His stepdad, Murphy Belgard, uh, passed away Monday after his battle with cancer. Also, my dad's Aunt Vivian Urban passed away yesterday morning. Um, Judy Cookson also passed away yesterday. So let's remember all of these families in our prayers. Now, we have unspoken needs today um, submitted by Rebecca Rush for Linda Stratton. Uh, also, unspoken requests for Terry's youngest sister, Robin, uh, Venus's daughters, Judy Williams' family, Johnny's family, and Tracy Powers. Uh, Janie Hart is still in the ICU with COVID pneumonia. She was placed on a vibration vest yesterday with no success in breaking up the infection in her left lung. So they're planning to use a scope this morning to remove uh, that fluid buildup and infection. Uh, Robin has an appointment with her primary care provider in a couple of weeks to discuss options to avoid surgery. So let's uh, pray about that. Also uh, pray for those who have surgeries coming up soon. Uh, Lucy will be having surgery to replace a portion of her skull that she lost in the recent motorcycle accident. Uh, she has a long road of rehab ahead of her after uh, her surgery. Marsha Moore has a co-worker who's having hip replacement surgery on January 31st. That's also the date that Sue Morris is having surgery to remove a brain tumor. Um, also pray for Maisie who has a brain tumor. As I mentioned, let's remember, continue to remember all those who are battling cancer uh, and as well as those who have uh, been given the all clear uh, from their cancer diagnosis but uh, are going through precautionary treatments. Pray for Doug Seaball, Dave, and Oscar, all with kidney issues. Pray for those with chronic lung and respiratory problems, including Kendra Ortiz, uh, Robbie Northrup, Gary Lee, Dee's mother, Carolyn, and Pam Pulliam's Aunt Nancy. Those with heart issues include Jimmy Warren, Michelle Strain's mother, Bud Taylor, David Duggar, Sister Patty Arnold, Mike Sappington, who is on the waiting list for a heart transplant, Joyce Fisk, Kenny Prinzel, Blaine, Kelly B, Brother Mark Morris, Cheryl Chance, Amy Dees, Doyle Mitchell, Holly, Robin Felber, and Jenny Perkins' dad. Also, uh, continue to remember Jenny's mother in prayer as well um, with her own uh, set of health concerns. Uh, Marsha's neighbor Carol, as well as Bob Perkins and Regina Marlin continue to deal with the effects of shingles. Uh, those suffering with Parkinson's disease include Tim Workman, Kristen's friend Matt, my dad, Hula Ziegler, Russ, and Vivian. We're praying for those with diabetes again today, Holly, Grady, Kristen's cousin, uh, Grady, that is, Lola Dickinson, myself, Kristen's neighbor, Natalie, J.R. Johnson, Chaney, Becca, Rose, Evie, Emily Stanley, Michael Williams, Anthony Williams, Steve Cummins, Tim Workman, Cindy and Lloyd, Titus Dornbach, Christian Carr, Brother Pulliam, uh, Jimmy Warren, and Cheryl Chance. Uh, lift up those who um, are dealing with stomach issues. These include Natalie, Aubrey, Savannah, Amber Kay, Heather Spence, um, Eva's daughter Sandra, Michael Parrott, Olivia. Uh, also praying for Sherry who needs a liver transplant. We're praying for Sarah Stroop, Marty DeLock, Riley March, and Carmen's sister Tracy all with MS. Uh, Tracy's needing her home to sell uh, in order to shorten her daily commute. Uh, we're praying for those who suffer with dementia Vivian, Kristen's friend's dad, Johnny's mom, Melena's mom, uh, also Ben Ramey's stepdad, Tom, has memory deterioration issues. Uh, we're praying for Beth, Marsha, Marsha's co-worker son, and Melena with migraine headaches. 
uh, Sherman with back pain for several days, Carolyn Rogers, Becky Wilson, Britt Moore, Rebecca Williams, Pam's daughter Jenny, Cindy Page, Brianna Williams, Johnny and Terry Nelson, Jennifer Williams, Elveda Walker, and Tammy Lawson also uh, with back pain, and Elveda also with uh, hip pain. Jimmy Moore, Virgil Pulliam, Rose Brown, June Coffer, and Sister Judy Williams' mother uh, suffer with arthritis. Donna Robinson, as well as others who have been on our list for quite some time, Chris, Sheila, Sammy, and Renee, all with mobility problems, uh, praying for several children, including Garrett Jones, who's been sick for several days, um, and also uh, the others who have been on our list with chronic needs, Stella, Elliot, uh, Darla's granddaughter, Tammy's granddaughter, Emily, Bailey May, Baby G, Abram, Abel, Tano, Brantley, and Elsie. Uh, we're praying for continued recovery uh, for these who have suffered stroke in the recent and uh, more distant past. Uh, also praying for Pastor Chris Dew with Guillain-Barre syndrome recovering and Brother David Kent with partial paralysis and needing a miracle in his body today. Remember all those who are recovering from recent surgeries. Uh, we've mentioned a few of those, but there are others uh, who have had surgery in the recent past as well. We need to keep praying for them. Uh, other health needs we're praying about. Uh, Meredith, Cheryl LaChance's uncle, Kristen's friend Ann, uh, Robin Tibbs, Cheryl Ogden, Bob and Shirley Perkins, Jessica O'Hara, Judy Williams' brother, George Tibbs, Michelle Clark, Devin Huff, Virginia uh, Farado, Eddie Potts, Lois Link, Venus, Randy Reeves, Pat Wilson, Robbie, Marshall Link, uh, Kristen's friend Laura, Cheryl LaChance's uncle, um, all these needing a touch of the Lord today. Pray for those who are in nursing homes. Uh, they need compassionate and competent care and encouragement. Pray for our military families today, both the service members and their family, as they are definitely in that together. Uh, spiritual and family needs we're praying about. Uh, let's keep lifting up our Mingo RCF residents, especially Tim Davidson, with some issues uh, this week at the facility for him. Uh, remember our Job Corps students, especially Landon and Archer, uh, both um, uh, were in service again Sunday. Of course, Landon is just a regular uh, member of our church who enrolled in Job Corps, but Archer is a young man that he's been bringing with him. We're praying for God to really work in his life. Uh, continue to pray for revival in our community as well as uh, your communities today and pray for safe return of prodigals back to the Father's house. Uh, those who are battling addiction, Jacob, Josh, Allen, Ashley, Dawson, Charles, Frank, William, and Dana. Um, some also are struggling with mental illness um, that feeds into or uh, complicates the whole addiction situation. Uh, Stephanie and her children uh, need restoration in their relationships. Uh, we need to keep praying for the Cummins family, the Marlins, the Clarks, the Moores, the Williams, the Pulliams, the Robbins, the Sappingtons, the Biddick family, uh, Mark Perkins uh, family members, Judy Johnson's grandson, Beulah's granddaughter, Jennifer and Brenda's family, J.R., Jeffrey for reconciliation in his family and healing for his wife. Shirley, who is struggling with thoughts of suicide. Jenny Perkins' sister, Lisa, with a lot of mental and emotional turmoil, and she needs uh, salvation as well. Pray for Destiny to grow in her relationship with God. Uh, keep praying for Annette and Dave. Uh, Marcia's friend, Ashley, and her friend, Linda, both in need of prayer. Terry Monk needs salvation. Uh, we're praying for David to return to God. We're praying for Rosa's family uh, as well. Our North American and Global Missionaries, let's continue covering all of them in our prayers today. Uh, we need to pray for peace in Israel, Ukraine, uh, the situation with Taiwan and China and so many other hot spots uh, in the world today. Uh, also pray for believers who are being persecuted. We're, we've been very blessed here in America uh, to not have to deal with physical persecution, um, but our nation is um, going in the wrong direction and we need God's help here as well. But let's do remember our brothers and sisters that uh, maybe uh, too many times are out of sight and out of mind, but they really need God's intervention 
today in their respective nations uh, as it's very difficult uh, to simply be a Christian in some of these places. Good morning to each of you. Uh, Kristen, good to see you today, Chris. Um, Kristen, Judy, Carmen, uh, Ben, Pam, Belinda, um, Sherman, all with us today. And I see some of you are submitting new needs. Make sure that you take a moment uh, either now or after we are finished uh, being together live. If you can go back and review to make sure we haven't missed any of the needs that are being mentioned today. Uh, let's go to the uh, word of the Lord today. Matthew 13, 33 is the only verse we're going to read today for our devotion as we're talking about uh, kingdom influence, uh, the influence that the people of God have and should be uh, using uh, to expand uh, the kingdom of God in the earth and to see his will coming to pass through us. Matthew 13, 33 says, He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like leaven that a woman took and hid in three measures of flour till it was all leavened. Leaven is one of the three uh, basic ingredients of most kinds of bread and other baked goods. And leaven does three things. It causes the bread to rise and become bigger than it was in itself. It strengthens the bread dough by holding it together more firmly. And thirdly, it gives the bread a better flavor. But how does leaven work? How does it do its job? Leaven is hidden in a very small measure in the dough that works quietly, consistently on the cellular level, which is the most basic level of life. It sends out tentacles, if, if we could describe it that way, to the dough cells it is within, and it grabs the sugars in the dough and feeds upon them and then releases a gas into the dough, causing it to rise. It takes over, notice this, it takes over one cell at a time until there is a complete takeover. And Jesus used this example. He said the kingdom of heaven is like leaven. It's a hidden influence. It's on the most basic level and operates from uh, that most basic level outward until it affects everything around it. And he said that's uh, the way the kingdom of heaven is. Not all influence we have is overt. Uh, and not even just subtle, but it is it is hidden, and we must um, we must leaven those things that are around us. So we can have influence in ways that people have no idea that we are even influencing them, but we can change the flavor of their lives, and we can begin slowly but surely uh, to take over areas that um, that no one could even see that it was happening. Can you think of an example this morning of how you could insert the leaven of the kingdom into your, into your sphere of influence? Uh, what areas of your life need the leaven of the kingdom right now? Uh, your workplace, your family, your relationships, of course. We could choose any one of these environments and begin to add a bit of leaven today. It doesn't take much, just a little bit of leaven. And then we begin to pray and see and take action on the next opportunity that provides. Amen. I want to be doing my Father's will and just walking with God and being sensitive to the Spirit. I believe we can begin to leaven those things that are around us. Uh, Jesus also warned against the leaven of the Pharisees. And so, you know, we have competition out there. There are others uh, who are spreading the wrong kind of message and effect. And so we must uh, combat that, and we must be about our Father's business again today. Amen. We're going to believe for divine healing today. We're going to believe for divine provision, and we're going to believe today for God's will to be done in all things. Would you pray for me, pray with me right now? Lord Jesus, we thank you again today that we have this opportunity to come into your presence. I thank you for every one of my prayer friends today and their efforts, Lord, and we don't just come as a ritual and a routine, although there is value in routine. We understand that, Lord, but we, we come with something beyond that today. We come with a burden and we come with vision, Lord, to see your 
will done in all of these situations and to see your kingdom, your glory filling the entire earth. And that's what we believe for today, God. We believe for greater things than we've ever witnessed before. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for these who have just come through surgery like Heather. And uh, we pray for those that have upcoming surgeries, Lucy and, and Marcia's uh, co-worker and Sue Morris. Lord, each of these, God, you hold in the palm of your hand today. And you're able, God, to move in their situations right now. We believe, God, for recovery and we believe, Lord, for successful surgeries for these that are facing them right now. We pray, Lord, for peace and comfort for the Delot family, the Belgard family today. We pray for uh, my dad and his uh, sisters and uh, brothers today who are mourning the passing of their, of their aunt, Lord. We pray, God, you would comfort their hearts today. We pray for Judy Cookson's family, and we pray, God, you would just comfort them as well today in their loss. We pray that you would move in these unspoken needs today for Rebecca and Belinda, for Belinda's a propane delivery, for Terry's youngest sister, Robin, for Venus's daughters and Judy's family, for Johnny's family and for Tracy. We pray for Jenny Hart's healing today. Lord, she needs your touch right now, Lord, to break up this infection from COVID and Lord, to give her uh, victory over this. In Jesus' name, we pray for the scope to go well this morning. We pray for Robin, uh, who's uh, trying to avoid surgery right now. We pray that her appointment would go well with her primary care provider. In Jesus' name, touch Maisie today. Lord, we believe for that brain tumor to shrink. We believe for each of these who are battling cancer today to receive healing. Pam and Kenny, Jim and Maggie, Lynn Lawrence, uh, Marsha Moores, co-workers aunt, uh, Linda Young, Rebecca Peterson, Amy D, Cheryl, Diane, Heather, Dennis, Dwayne, Claire, Alice, Scott Lucia, Cindy, Marsha's friend's grandparent, Daniel Dickinson, uh, Valerie, Kristen's friend Betty, Ari, Jamie Joe's grandfather, Gladys Sims, Jordan, Julia, Christine. Lord, we know that you're with each of these going through chemo and radiation and those going through precautionary treatments now that they have had successful cancer removal. We believe, God, for every cancer cell today in their bodies to shrivel up and die and for healthy cells to replace those diseased cells instead of the other way around. In Jesus' name, we pray, God, for Darla and Virginia right now. Be with them as they go through these precautionary treatments. We lift up those who are dealing with kidney problems today that we've mentioned, and those with chronic lung and respiratory problems and heart issues. And you've heard every name that we've called out today, Lord, of these battling these diseases, shingles and Parkinson's, diabetes and liver problems, stomach issues, multiple sclerosis, dementia, migraine headaches, back and hip pain, arthritis pain, mobility problems. You're with these children today, God, that we've mentioned. Touch them right now, we pray. Hallelujah. We pray for continued recovery for Anthony and Wayne and Buddy, for Billy Huey and Kelly, for Johnny's nephew, Joey, for Sue's nephew, Dwayne, for John, uh, for Paul Johnson, for Sandra Julius, all of these as they recover from stroke, Lord. We believe for complete victory over every symptom and every effect. Let every function be restored in the name of Jesus. We pray for Pastor Christopher Dew right now, God, that he would fully recover. You see this long trial and affliction, Lord. You've been aware and with him through it all. We pray for his family, God, for their financial provision today. We pray for Brother David Kent, Lord, that you would touch his body today and restore him to health. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you heard all of these other health needs that we've mentioned today. Every name that we've called out, those nursing home residents that we're believing for to receive the compassionate and competent care that they need and to receive encouragement and strength today, both physically and mentally and also emotionally today. We pray, God, for our military personnel and for their families. Lord, just cover them today with your grace and mercy and your protection. Let your angels uh, be with them today and protect them from all harm. In the name of Jesus, Lord, move in these spiritual and family needs that we've mentioned today. We trust in you, God, for deliverance from mental health disorders today. 
You see those who are troubled by evil spirits. Uh, we pray, God, that you would deliver their minds today. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke all uh, of the enemy today and his influence uh, right now in Jesus' name. We believe, God, for breakthrough in people's lives. We believe, God, for emotional healing uh, from past trauma today. Lord, your spirit, by your spirit, you are able to do things that cannot be done with human intellect and with human wisdom today. God, we pray that you would just continue to move in all these situations. You see each family that's struggling. You see the needs in homes today. We pray, God, against all dysfunction. We pray against the addiction today that's wrecking families. We pray against uh, uh, lust and all uh, things that would break up family units today. God, we pray, Lord, for our homes to be filled uh, with uh, uh, spiritual influence today. We pray, Lord, that uh, that one family member that would be the leaven in that family would begin to gain influence today. In the name of Jesus, we pray, God, for our global missionaries right now all across uh, uh, the world today in their different nations uh, we pray, God, for breakthrough in those ministries. We pray, God, for new churches to be established, not only globally, but right here in America, in Canada. In the name of Jesus, be with our North American missionaries right now. God, open doors for them. We pray, God, they would be encouraged. You see, Lord, the struggle that they're in every day and the high price that it, uh, the high toll that it takes upon their families. God, we pray strength for their these missionary families today. We pray, God, your protection for believers who are being persecuted right now in Myanmar, in India, in Pakistan, in Papua New Guinea, in the Middle East today, in so many Muslim nations and other access-challenged areas. We pray for your help today. We pray for peace in Israel. We pray, God, that the rest of these hostages would be released. We pray, God, for the war in Ukraine to end we pray, God, for your favor and your blessing upon America today. Help us, God, to return, Lord, to the principles of your word. We pray, God, that you would give us godly leadership in our nation. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, God, for your help. We thank you, Lord, for your care today. I pray, God, you would move in the needs that are being submitted right now, those that are that are. Uh, posting needs on the comments right now. Whatever those needs are, God, we pray that you would just move in those situations. And for these things, we give you all the praise and the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for praying with me, prayer team. I uh, pray God's blessing upon your services tonight. Please keep us in prayer. I know not everyone has a midweek service on Wednesday, but if this is the night for your midweek service, we certainly believe in for God's blessing upon your gatherings and pray for us as well, especially for our uh, Celebrate Recovery ministry tonight, our youth ministry and uh, children's ministry, as well as uh, our adult class. God is doing great things here in Puxico and uh, I know he's doing great things in your cities as well. Let's keep believing together and I'll see you tomorrow morning right here on Facebook at 7.30 a.m. God bless you in Jesus' name.